Hey guys, it's Natalie from Nats Numbers, and this is the January 2014 numerology forecast. So this month is an eight universal month, and this is a month that is under the auspices of the magician, the sorceress, the king or queen archetypes. And you're probably already getting an idea of the flavor. This is a month about power. So ultimately this month, if you go ahead and leverage the energy, and I'm going to share with you how to do that, you're going to amp up your level of personal power and deepen your level of abundance. Okay? So you're basically learning how to better distribute the movement of energy in your life. And this is not just finances, which is typically what we think of when we think of the number eight. This is also distributing our time, distributing the physical health energy that we have. So this is how the eight is going to show up. Typically, an archetype shows up first in a challenged way, in a negative way, before we can then get our hands dirty and, um, and learn from its lessons. So the first way it's going to show up this month is in power plays. So you're going to notice that you're going to give your power away to other people in your life. So imagine that you wake up in the morning, you're at 100% capacity. And then you give 10% of your energy away to your spouse, and 5% to your child, and 15% to the guy that flips you off in traffic, and 25% to your boss at work. That over time, you're, you're feeling helpless and powerless. And this is essentially what is called a victimhood. So victimhood is the first way that the eight is going to show up. And I want you to come back to this video and listen to the remedy to be able to leverage the positive aspect of the magician. The second way that this is going to show up is giving your power away to the world of limitation. Now the world of limitation is the physical world. It's the world of form. And so we do this in one of two ways. The first way is that we assess what we have or what we don't have. So we think, how much money do I have in my bank account? We think, um, why, what do people think of these shoes? Um, why do I have this sort of like you know, 1998 version of a car. We get really concerned about how we appear to others and our status in society. The second way that we appeal and that we lose sight of our power in the world of limitation is by believing that the world of, of limitation is all that there is. And so if you didn't already watch the 2014 yearly forecast, please go and watch that because it's going to give you perspective on actually how to better leverage the January month, okay? So let's get into the remedy. So either giving your power away to other people in your life or giving your power away to the world of form, how are you going to be able to remedy this? All you got to do is ask yourself a very simple question. The question is, when do I feel the most influential and powerful over my life? And I want you to really think about that, not just in passing, but I want you to write that question down. I'll put it in the description box below. And I want you to really ponder it and sink into it because the answer to that question is a catalyst for you for the rest of the year. It's going to give you the opportunity to tap into a new level of prosperity that you've never reached before. And I have to tell you, it's going to be immaterial. It is not going to be based on physical reality. So if you guys have any questions about January or about any of the other things that we've talked about so far this year, please comment below, rate the video, let me know what you guys want to hear about in the future, and stay tuned for another video. I'm going to be talking about the meaning of each decade of your life and why aging is actually a really fantastic thing, and also how to deal with body image issues, especially with all the BS of the New Year's resolutions and weight loss. So I'll talk with you guys later. Have a great month ahead. Bye.